dogfighting, an illicit sport which is more widespread and lucrative than you may think. This footage, supplied by a confidential source, offers a rare glimpse into a murky world of high stakes and organized networks. An organization which often deals with the fallout of organized and informal dogfights says it is prevalent throughout the Western Cape, where bets range from vast sums of money to drugs and sexual favors. Fights can take from minutes to hours. And those fights that take minutes normally involve um, either a, a fatal bite from the onset, the dog grabbing the other dog's throat and literally ripping it out and killing it. Um, that dog then goes on to become a grand champion. Other fights sadly go on for, for many hours. In August, seven boys were arrested in Cape Town in connection with dog fighting. At the other end of the spectrum, highly organized groups use social networking sites to boast and arrange competitions via a secretive dialect called the Cajun Dictionary. They're beyond secretive, they're paranoid. And that's what makes them potentially dangerous. Um, when, you, when you start touching nerves, um, they behave very irrationally. Uh, they, they, there's nothing rational about what those individuals do. So you've got to tread with extreme caution. Um, for us, that's obviously very frustrating uh, in terms of our e evidence gathering capabilities. You don't want to unnecessarily put people's lives at risk, and it is a risky business, it's a dangerous business. It's a widespread uh, problem across the country, and there are various rings across the country um, and places where they have the dog fights. I would say, you know, there was a dog fight that came up in Rustenburg where the bet on the dog was 1.5 million rand. The SPCA says although laws are in place, offenders, even when successfully prosecuted, mostly get off with a slap on the wrist. Graham Robidimo, Eyewitness News, Cape Town.